Hello, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Heidi and today I'm going to be sharing with you my most current empties. Uh, this is just for the last month or so. This is going to be Scentsy empties, wax and non-wax, and then wax empties from vendors. So uh, like in my last video, I'm going to share with you... Oh, okay, come here. Come here. Sorry, I have to show you. <laughs> I didn't know if she was going to be quiet or not, but I thought maybe I could do this video without showing you my newest family member, but surprise, <laughs> surprise, 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 surprise. Yeah. This is my new puppy. I just adopted her yesterday from the Humane Society and hi, she's very sweet. She's a mutt of some kind, not really sure what yet. Um, but my kids have been asking for a new dog for months. My oldest daughter, um, or my oldest in the home daughter, Olive, she's been tagging me <laughs> in puppy posts for months now on Facebook. And uh, they, they kept asking, are we gonna get a new dog for Christmas? Are we gonna get a new puppy? When are we gonna get a new puppy? Because as a, some of you know, if you, have been watching me for some time now we lost our family dog Anna our black lab last uh, last April last spring break and that uh, was a really hard uh, kind of uh, sudden um, loss and uh, anyway I wasn't quite ready yet but my kids seem to think they're ready so anyway they're gone and uh, for uh, a little bit of the holiday break and I thought over that time period I would go and uh, get a puppy and adopt a puppy so that when they come home it can be a surprise for them. So I think they're going to be really excited. Uh, I don't have a name for her yet. <laughs> she was in a litter that they brought me. I went in and, and I had seen a post online that said uh, these puppies are available now for adopting and they were in a whole litter of boys and girl uh, puppies and eight weeks old they had been you know all their shots and spayed and neutered and microchipped and the whole nine yards and there was just a small adoption fee otherwise they were ready to be uh, rehomed or homed <laughs> and so they asked which one online that I had seen that I was interested in and I didn't really know because I thought you know you can't just go off a picture so I really wanted to see them face to face and meet them and see if there was one that I had a connection with. So before I even decided, I wasn't even sure if I was going to bring one home that day. I thought I'll just go and see and if, and if it's a, a good fit or seems like a good fit and I prayed about it ahead of time too, then, then it'll be clear, you know, sort of thing. So anyway, they brought, they put me in like a little private room and brought me this entire kennel of, of puppies from the same litter. And she, uh, came out of the kennel and then she turned around and wanted to go right back in the kennel and I spotted her right away because she was the only black um full black uh puppy in this in this litter and and I said where are you going come here I want to look at you so I picked her up and she pretty much didn't want to leave my arms from that moment forward so I was like I think this is the one so I brought her home and I haven't named her yet. They gave them all like New Year's names, but I don't know that they're really recalling them by those names. Maybe they were, but uh, I didn't want to keep the name that they gave her. <clears throat> so I've been making a list of names. And anyway, I'll uh, maybe I'll tell you what my list is so uh, so that you can vote below uh, and tell me what you'd like for her. Uh, and we'll see what what comes up with uh, what we come up with for a name for this little precious thing um I didn't know for sure if she would want to pop in the video obviously she she loves the camera already so I went ahead and made the list of names just in case she did this which she obviously did so I'll go ahead and read off some of the names that I'm thinking so the first one I have here is Maple uh she was born on Halloween it's might be important to mention that so I was kind of thinking it'd be cute to have like a fall name or like a Halloween kind of name. <clears throat> so anyway, Maple would be one of them. Uh, Eve, 
because she was born on All Hallows Eve and then I got her New Year's Eve weekend. So I thought Eve would be a cute name. Maybe call her Evie um, uh, Pepper because she's black. Uh, mocha because she kind of looks <clears throat> like the colors of like a mocha drink. Um, opal because October is the opal is the birthstone for October. Velma for two reasons. One that was my grandmother's name. Um, she passed away a long time ago when I was a little girl, but also Scooby-Doo's Velma. It's kind of like Halloween-y, so I thought Velma might be a cute name. Uh, moon, because I think she looks like a moon pie. Uh, I don't know if you know those desserts. They're like dark black, dark chocolate on the outside, and then you open it up and it's like brownish, you know, beige colored, and then a white marshmallow center. She has really cool coloring. She's mostly black but she's got this tan on her arm and then these little white like splotches on her uh, paws and then under her chin she's white too and on her face she's that kind of caramel color. So and then I have Moxie which I thought was kind of cute. Um, Kezia or I would call her Kez or Kezi. That's a uh, Hebrew for beautiful. I think she's beautiful. And then Dodi is also a Hebrew word that means beloved, and she's beloved. So, I don't know, those are just some of my ideas. Um, there was also another one that I thought might be cute, which was uh, Hilaire. Uh, it's actually the last name of a French ballet dancer, and it means happy or merry. And I thought uh, Hilaire would be kind of pretty, call her Hilly for short, or something like that. Um, and there was another one I was thinking of that was like a ballet kind of dance move or something that I can't remember off the top of my head now. Uh, but anyway, those are just a handful of the names that I'm trying to decide on. And if I can't decide by tonight, New Year's Eve, I'm going to put them in a hat and pick. So <laughs> maybe if this uploads in time, you can vote below and let me know what you think. So I'm sorry for that really long intro. Um, it's not going to get any shorter because now I have my perfume that I want to share with you. So in my last video, I went ahead and shared with you what perfume I was wearing <clears throat> throughout Thanksgiving. And so I did the same thing this Christmas time. I went ahead and used a perfume the majority of the, of the Christmas week or the week of Christmas, um, to kind of make a scent memory. And so this year I chose hypnotic poison. Um, this is such a pretty bottle and I really, really love this scent. It came out in 2000, or 1998, but and I've been wearing it actually since 1998. Not this specific bottle. I've already went through a bottle, and this bottle's a couple of years old. Uh, but I really, really love this scent. I think it's great for wintertime. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and read you the notes of this perfume. So, And I'm wearing it today, too. So uh, the top notes are coconut, plum, and apricot. The middle notes, mid notes are Brazilian rosewood, jasmine, caraway, tube rose, and lily of the valley. And the base notes are vanilla, almond, sandalwood, and musk. And this is just a really warm, cozy, sweet fragrance that's just beautiful and unique. And I love it. So anyway, that's just uh, a little uh, scent of the <laughs> scent of the day, uh, scent of the holidays. Uh, a thing that I wanted to share with you guys. Okay, so now we're going to get on to the empties. So thank you for bearing with me for that long intro. Uh, we'll go ahead and just start right off the top. This is my basket, <clears throat> nice and big and full and only a month's worth. So that's good. And we'll go ahead and start with, uh, we'll start with non-wax empties. Okay, so I used a, a little tub of washer whiffs in cranberry tinsel. Um, I really like this scent. Um, it's very... Mm, tree and sweet fruit. So I would say it kind of, it, it really does kind of remind me of, um, oh, what was that scent that came out? And I think it's in the catalog now too. Uh, I'm going to blank on it, but it was a scent of the month last year in the winter, maybe November's. Um, anyway, I can't remember what it is right now off the top of my head, but it reminds me of that scent. Cinnamon pine cones. Is that what it's called? And so, and cinnamon pine cones actually reminds me of the Mickey Mouse Christmas tree scent as well. So they kind of all have that same pine cone spice tree 
vibe to them. And this one has a little added tart fruitiness to it. So I love that. I think I might have even another one or two maybe of these left because I bought them in, I might've bought them on a, in clearance or flash sale or something. So anyway, finished that up. <clears throat> the next thing I finished up was a dish soap in red pear and pomegranate. And, uh, I, I, I go ahead and use the tops from the laundry pump. Uh, I think it's the laundry liquid pump that works best for these. So, uh, that was really good. And if it came out in clearance, I would purchase it again. It's just like, it really just kind of smells like pear to me. I don't really get the pomegranate, but it's nice. And I thought the label, oh, <laughs> I thought the label was really uh, pretty too for the fall. So I used that up. Um, a dish soap in appleberry. Uh, this was also really nice. It's uh, was not, not like a scent I would choose again. Um, unless it was like really cheap in clearance because it was just kind of like very apple-y and I'm not the biggest apple fan, but it was just soap and it's not like it was, you know, scenting my home or anything. So I love their soaps. They're very concentrated. They last a long time. I think they're worth uh, the price, but if you can get them on sale, uh, then they're definitely worth the price. Okay. I used an entire scent soft up in lavender cotton and, uh, I do really like the scent softs. I don't need to use scent soft. I use vinegar uh, primarily, but I bought a bunch of these before they stopped uh, selling them and I do use them. So it just depends on the load. I don't always use them with every laundry load, but like for sure towels, for sure sheets and blankets. And then just kind of depends on whether I feel like putting it in or not, but that was really good. And I have some scent softs left from before. So uh, the fragrance flower, this is just an empty box because I currently have it going in my boys' bathroom. It's wildflower cotton, and uh, I believe that's sold out now on this clearance site. But yeah, this is really fine. I can smell it vaguely when I walk in, or faintly when I walk into their bathroom, so it's not super strong. But um, but yeah, it's nice to have a fragrance flower in there because I don't have any outlets in there to plug in a warmer in that uh, bathroom. The bathroom with the sink and the tub part of their bathroom does have an outlet so I have a warmer in there like a little mini but in the there's like an adjacent toilet shower room as well that is off of their bathroom and that little room does not have an outlet so okay let's see what else I have oh I have a lot of these although I can only find one right now but I swear I used up like two more of these so maybe I threw them away but I'm buying these little tea light um, at Walgreens and I'm using them in my tea light warmer, which I only have one tea light warmer in my house in my kitchen, but I use that for my vendor wax that smells more kitcheny. I'm going to probably put a tea light out somewhere maybe in my living room for uh, scents that are not uh, kitcheny to, for my vendor wax, but I might just use the little cups that are disposable and put those in my Scentsy warmers. So, but yeah, these are 50 packs. I think I get them for like $6.99 and I'm pretty sure this is the second uh, or third bag I've gone through. So, okay. Um, what else do we have here? Oh, something is sticky in my bag. Oh, it's probably that laundry detergent. Oh, yep. Another cranberry tinsel. So actually I probably don't have any left of this or if I do, I have one because I don't believe I had that many of these, but another one of these. And, um, yeah, I was really wanting to scent my laundry with that during the holiday season. So that was fun. Um, a farm stand pumpkin scent pack, you know, it's still vaguely or faintly, I keep saying vaguely, <laughs> it still faintly has some scent to it, but it's, it's not really throwing anymore. So, um, but it smells kind of like caramely pumpkin-y. It's nice for fall. It was good in the car. Um, another scent pack that I had in, I don't think this was in my car. Eskimo Kiss. This is pretty old, um, or like the scent is gone. I don't remember where I had this. It might have been in one of my drawers, maybe my sock drawer or something. So anyway, there's that. And uh, let's go ahead and let's just go to Scentsy Wax next. Okay, in no particular order. Sweet Orange and Evergreen. Of course, I had to warm this for the holidays. I have it in my club. It's just a really like traditional, 
Christmas tree scent. I don't really get orange at all in this, but it is um, beautiful and Christmassy, and I really, really love that. So I think I'm gonna keep that in my club unless I find that I have enough tree scents like between my like stash and in my club, but I don't think I do. I really, I think I only have black forest pine as a tree scent in my club besides that one. So anyway, Homestead Holiday, another one. Uh, this one was actually in that five bar holiday um, collection. And I didn't get this from that. I'm pretty sure, cause I didn't order that collection. I ordered did them individually in my club, I believe, but minus this one, cause I already had one of these in my collection. I might've even had like two or three of these. And I'm not a big, big fan of Homestead Holiday. I mean, I think it's cool. <laughs> Just full of surprises today. That's my Christmas clock. Every hour it plays a little tune. It'll be over in a second. That's it. Oh, never mind. And I'm not editing. I don't edit my videos. Like, I just clip off the very beginning of the video and like the end when I sit down and stand up. But otherwise, I just don't. I don't have time for that. So, anyway, there you go. <laughs> it's real life people. Homestead Holiday. I think it's got like apples, cinnamon. I don't know. It just smells kind of generic to me. It actually kind of smells like Halloween Town to me. Not Halloween Town. Sorry. Jack's Obsession. And there's nothing wrong with those scents. They just kind of smell the same to me. They don't smell, they kind of just honestly don't get mad at me for if you love those, they, they, they smell nice. They're not bad. They just remind me of like the Glade candles that you can find like anywhere of like the apple cinnamon. That's basically what they smell like to my nose. So anyway, Silver Bells. Uh, I love this one and I've got it in my not in my club right now, but it'll go back in there. Oh, it's just so yummy. Minty, pear, caramel, musk. It's so good. I don't do it really in the kitchen. I mainly melt that one in like living room bedroom, but Holly Jolly Cider. This was one of the bricks, the holiday bricks. And uh, it's nice. I actually I think I have my last cube going in the kitchen right now. There's something like very, it's very Christmassy. Like it's lovely. It's, it's unique and yeah, it doesn't smell like every other candle and you know that you smell at the holidays. It's like a cider, but it has almost like a greenery, like a tree or garland kind of smell with it. So it's like, it's like an apple cider, not like that generic apple, but like a spiced mold cider, but almost has like some evergreen in it somehow. I, I love it. I'm going to keep that one in my club. White pumpkin and driftwood. This was like the standout number one top fave of mine. For this past fall oh my gosh it's so good it's like it's like a pumpkin it's like a gentle pumpkin with some kind of woodiness that makes it like hmm, I wouldn't say masculine I don't think it is I think it's like earthy and kind of classy and warm and cozy all at the same time. It's just excellent. I absolutely love it. Uh, it's staying in my club. I, I, I kind of am done warming it now for this time of year, but it'll be, we'll start right back up again. I'll start warming that in like September. So anyway, Joy and Wonder. I have several bars of these from a flash sale or something like a year or two ago. I love this one. I don't even know how to explain it. It's it's got like a berryness, like a a bright saturated berryness to it, but like it's got some it's like sweet and tart at the same time and then it has like something else going on. I don't know the notes on this, but it's just really, really good and strong and long lasting. Joy and wonder. I hope that comes back someday because that was a standout for me. Cranberry orange cider. I kept this in my club from last year. I really like this. 
on cold I do get that bubblegum kind of vibe with it but once it's warming it's just lovely it's like really cranberry orange and cider just exactly what it says that's what i get and i love it very nice in the kitchen this time of year red berry and spruce this was fun i did this a lot throughout like the bedrooms uh and oh this is a messy bar but also just a very nice tart bright berry but with some of that greenery that Christmas tree spruce kind of scent. And I love those kinds of scents at this time of year. So that was lovely. Another red berry and spruce. I was really going through these. I must have a stack of them that are really oily. And I'm trying, I was trying to get through them for the holidays. I probably have another one left. Um, but yeah, maple rum cake. Where are you going, sissy? Oh, you're just going to lay on my papers. Okay. All right. What is this? Maple rum cake. I like it. I might take it out of my club. Uh, it's good. It's good. Don't get me wrong. But since I've been dipping my toes in vendor wax, I'm finding that I really enjoy their bakery a lot more than Scentsy's Bakery for the most part. And so I feel like I could get this scent that way. You know what I'm saying? Like this profile. So I may, I may not keep that in my club, but it is good. Wally Classified. I think I put this in on a fall, a day where it was like still kind of warm out. Um, since my last empties and, uh, I just was maybe cleaning or something and I wanted the boys room to s and bathroom to smell kind of clean. And I figured because there's apple in it, it still was like acceptable for fall, <laughs> even though it was getting to be Christmas time. Uh, blueberry pancakes. This was from a bring back my bar, bar forever ago. I only bought the one bar. Took me forever to go through. Not a huge fan. I, I don't know if I would get that again. It was fine, but it's just not really, I don't know. It's just not really like one that I need to have all the time. Uh, fairy tale pumpkin. I think the, the blueberry pancakes is too maple syrupy for me. Like when scents have too much maple syrup, I can't really do them. So anyway, a little maple syrup's okay, not a lot. Fairy tale pumpkin. This one smells like uh, grape tootsie pops, um, or blueberry tootsie pops. Maybe it's grape tootsie pops. Anyway, that's what it smells like to me. Um, it's nice. I have a couple maybe left, and it's um nice and I'll keep warming them, you know, every fall until they're gone. But, um, this, I didn't keep it in my club breakfast in bed. I love this one. It came out in like a flash sale or something like that. And I went ahead and grabbed like six bars of it. <clears throat> this scent is so good. And it, Oh, are you okay? Sorry. She's kind of shaking the camera. Come here, sweetie. I don't know what your name is yet, but you can come here. Come here, sweetie. Come here. Come sit down. You lay down. My good girl, good girl. Uh, breakfast in bed. Yeah, I people. I've heard people say it smells like um, um, Stroop waffle delight or no, not Stroop waffle delight. Um, the Bath and Body Works candle. Maybe, hmm, hmm, what is it called? <laughs> it's like the real popular one in the fall that everybody loves. Um, I can't remember, but anyway, my brain is like, <clears throat> it's the end of the holiday season and I'm just kind of like, yeah, my brain is stopped working for the most part here with memory things, but it's that one in the fall that everybody loves that like, it's kind of like Stroop Waffle Delight. I can't remember what it's called, but anyway, maple up. Uh, anyway, I'm going to stop trying to remember that. <laughs> I've heard that it's like a dupe for that or smells a lot like that. I don't really get that. I get a lot of the like fruit, the tart fruit in breakfast in bed. And I also love that it lasts a long time and is very strong. So that is, yeah, that's one that I love. And I'm happy that I was able to snag um, a few to have a stack for using up now in the next uh, year or so. Be Merry. This is one that they sadly retired last year. And um, along with Very Merry Cranberry, I don't know why they took two of the best I feel like they're both cranberry scents, even though Be Mary has that like green tree garland vibe. This Be Mary is very vintage smelling to me. Like it smells like my childhood, like Christmas in my, you know, youth. It's like a berry, a tart berry with that vintage garland like scent, um, like a gift shop you would walk around in, in like the eighties and nineties that had like cider samples to drink while you were shopping around like that's what it reminds me of so I love Be Merry and reminds me a lot of Cranberry Garland that also has been retired uh and I'm happy to have this in my club it's not coming out so 
I'll often do that one in like the living area and then I'll do Very Merry Cranberry in the kitchen because that one's just like pure cranberry loveliness. So I'll kind of do that and they real, really work well, kind of um, complement each other. So Mighty Pine, I don't know when I finish this up and I am not a huge fan of it. It's a little sharp for my nose, but I'm sure I just put it somewhere like laundry room or bathroom or something to kind of jazz up the holiday mood. <clears throat> Walnut Raisin Muffin, this is just too light. Um, it smells really nice, but it's just too light. I wish it was stronger. Otherwise, you know, I'm sure they'd be able to have it out and people would buy it, but Cozy Vanilla Pumpkin. Uh, this one is just awesome. I love it in the fall. It's very like vanilla chocolate pumpkin to me. I don't know how to, to explain it, but I get vanilla chocolate and pumpkin, like a milk chocolate and spice. I get vanilla, milk chocolate, pumpkin, and a little bit of spice, like a sweet spice. And I love it. Okay, and it's in my club. I think I said that already. Porch pumpkin. I think I might have another one of these left from a flash sale. It's nice. It's very just like pumpkin. It's got a little bit of spice, but not much. But it's like sweet pumpkin. It's it's lovely. I, I'm going to be happy to use up my other one. And let's see what else. I have a couple samples. I'm trying to use up um, testers. I mean, breakfast in bed. I used that one up. Um, Berry blast. I used that one up. I'm not a fan. Um smells like peach rings, like the trolley, trolley peach rings. Cranberry garland, love this one. I think I have another bar or partial bar left of that. Candied cranberry pecan, I love this one too. Uh, that one is like, kind of just like the very merry cranberry or, you know, whatever with like a pecan, like a nutty note in it. And it's really delicious. And then we're going to go through some of the vendor <clears throat> wax empties that I used up. So this one is from Waxy L3 Waxy Wonders. It's called I Put a Spell on You. It's cinnamon, sugar, French baguettes, and a top secret bakery bomb. This is really, really good. I think I even have a bigger one of these now because I just wanted to get the one small one to see how I liked it. But that was really, really good in my kitchen. Um, this is the bag that's like got a bunch of laundry stuff on it. But anyway, I had to, uh, this bag ripped, so I had to put it in a baggie, but it's called Breakfast in Bed by the Pharmacist's Daughter. It has pumpkin sugar donuts, mulled cider, toasted marshmallow, and French toast. This is so, so good. It was like a purple medallion, and I just kind of like broke pieces off of it. But, um, I don't think I have another one of these, but I need to get more of that someday because that was so good. I can still smell it. It, it was yummy in the kitchen. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, another one from L3 Waxy Wonders. I actually have this one in my kitchen going right now. It's a cute little snowman shape. It's a black vetiver cafe pumpkin firewood espresso. So just a coffee scent that's kind of smoky and sweet. Very yummy. So far, so good. Um, a bunch of these little bathing garden samples. This hauntingly Dickens tail. I can't remember what shape it was. It might have been like a little green wreath. Oh, it was really like a sweet green wreath, but like very sweet. Not less of the greenery and more of the sweetness, but it was it was nice. I really liked that. In my I do all of these in my um tea light warmer in the kitchen. Bouche de Bouche Bouche mm, Bouche de Noel cake from the bathing garden. I don't really know how to say that. Bouche Bouche. Yeah, this was yummy too. This was kind of like a maple rum cake vibe kind of scent. Um I did that in the kitchen. And that was really yummy. I'm, I guess all these are in the kitchen. What am I talking about? Almond gingerbread cookie from the bathing garden. I remember this one. Can't really smell it, but um, lovely. Lovely. And then all the rest of these are that smell good shop. And I some of them are two, like little two cubers that I bought. I think they're like $1.20. And then some are samples, so I got them for free when they sent me my package. So this one's called Got Milk. It's cinnamon, sugar, brown sugar, and pound cake. Can't smell it anymore, but I do remember really liking that one. I don't think I'll get it again. The milk part was kind of weird, but not bad, just not my thing. Pumpkin pecan waffle. That's the scent I was thinking of earlier for breakfast in bed. I've heard people say, thank you, by the way. I've heard people say that Breakfast in bed from Scentsy reminds them of pumpkin pecan waffles from Bath and Body Works. And I I don't really get that. I mean, I see where they're going with it, but I, I think they're different. So anyway, uh, this is pumpkin waffles, brown sugar pecans, and whipped cream. I love pumpkin pecan waffle scent in anything. I really do. I just, I'm that, I'm that person. Okay, salted pretzel milkshake, which is vanilla ice cream, salty pretzel bits, and chocolate drizzle. Oh my gosh, it says it's a Bath and Body Works type. I didn't know Bath and Body Works had this scent, but I will tell you, most things that have pretzel in them 
I'm abs absolutely loving. So I'm all about that pretzel wax right now. Pumped up zucchini. This one was really good. I will be getting a bigger one of these if she ever has it on there again. She has so many on her site, the uh, that Smell Good Shop site. So I would not be surprised if she still has it on there or will have it again. But pumped up zucchini is baked pumpkin zucchini bread. It, it was so, 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 so good and strong. Her little cubes are so strong. They pack a huge punch. I almost want to cut them in half even though they're so convenient to just pop in the tea light warmer but I, I'm almost tempted to cut them in half because they're so strong but I actually uh, I probably won't but what I will probably do is if I have a bigger bag of her um, wax cubes which I do have some of those I will probably put those throughout my house in Scentsy warmers but probably in my little uh, plastic um, paper cups that are disposable that I have um, just because the wax is harder to get out uh, I think from those and I kind of like to just harden it pop it out and reuse the little cup again and so I wish I had one of those little cups to show you but they're um they're little white they look like cupcake baking cups but they're like papery on the outside and then waxy on the inside kind of like a coating and I got them on Amazon I think Amy Sense and Songs might have recommended them and um, you just put them in your warmer and put your wax in there and it melts it from there. And then when I'm done, I just let it harden. I pull out the cup, let it harden and pop out the wax in my garbage and then reuse it for however many times till it looks, you know, raggedy. And so, uh, anyway, but long story short, these are so strong that I feel like you, I probably could just put them throughout my whole house. Um, because in the kitchen, it's almost, it's almost too strong. Like I, I can't say that about any of these other waxes that I've talked about today, but that smell good shop her wax is so so strong so uh that can be a good thing or a bad thing depending on how you like your uh space is scented but for me it's a good thing it's just it's almost overwhelming depending on the scent so this is called fire starter it was pecan pie and zucchini bread and that was really really good too so i really like that smell good shop i definitely plan on ordering from her again in the future i just have to use up some of my wax that i was ordering this past fall with the new vendors that i'm trying and that's everything guys thank you so much for sticking with me for all the little interruptions and uh and just you know the clock and anyway uh i i'm not gonna move her but she's and she's over there right now but please vote for for a name below i would really love to hear your um your your uh choices <laughs> if i could spit that out your choices from the ones that i mentioned earlier i'll go ahead and read them one more time so you don't have to go back but maple Eve, Pepper, Mocha, Opal, Velma, Moon, Dodie, Moxie, Hilaire, so Hilly for short, or Kezia, Kez, or Kezi for short. Those are sort of my, and then there was a ballet move. Now I can't remember what it is. Uh, hmm. If I can remember what it is, I'll put it in the description box below. And yeah. And if you have any other ideas for her name, please uh, feel free to suggest below. I, I'm open for suggestions. So I hope everybody had a great holiday season and uh, just many blessings to everybody as we head into a new year. And I think that's all for now. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.